Hi all, I'll catch up here. And as you can see, this is going to be an offline banner trailer reaction in the sense that I'm not doing this live on Twitch as some of my previous times, but I promise that I haven't watched this video yet. I did watch the Faye channel a moment ago and I'll share some thoughts at the end of the video. But in the meantime, let's check out these sacred stone heroes. Selena. The role of an Imperial General is that of the shield, not the blade. I really like this art and <laughs> is she is she the first hero that has ha! like a, a costume version in the game first, short followed by the real version this shortly. This is one of the last weapons forged by Gavileus. It is my pride and joy. Care for do a closer look? So. Do so? Do so. Okay, and as, as always, we will come back to the skills at the end. I've still got it. Natasha. My name is Natasha. I was a servant of the people at Grado's Imperial Temple. Okay, five five skill healer, but <sighs> nothing nothing new. So. No new weapon or skill. <laughs> Completely different style. Wait, they really replayed the part of the trailer here too. <laughs> and the fact that she's part of a new I'm hero Reagan. band, you? but not no, a mythic hero again. band, I am Regan. It's, it's an honor to make your acquaintance. Oh my! <laughs> There's like ten lines of text, and I can't even pronounce the names. We'll come back to it. Yeah. Music is pretty lit, though. Music is quite lit. Um, I won't the, lose. The art style and the whole theme. I'm you. not so sure. I'll talk about it later. This is, this is quite different from the Fire Emblem style so far. But the one that I know of, at least. And and also, you're getting we're getting no as the free unit from clearing Book Five, <laughs> as opposed to like the new Mythic here. Oh wait, actually. Uh, who, who are we getting as the f um who's the free book five hero Let's see um free to start wait no 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 doesn't doesn't say here all right I need to revisit the Fae channel because I was a little confused because uh well there's a new guy we're getting from Grand Hero Battle. And then there's no we can get for free from something. Oh, from the quest. I see, I see. So we do get a Regan from clearing the first chapter. The first chapter. But we also get a no from clearing quests. Well, that seems not bad. Uh, but in the meantime, let's check out some of the new weapons and skills. The role of an Imperial General is that of the shield. Not the blade. Oh, the horse! Horse has a mask. Cute. All right, Tome of Storms grants speed plus three at the start of combat. Foes HP greater than seventy-five percent. Grants attack speed plus five to unit during combat and neutralizes effects that guarantee foes follow-up attacks and effects that prevent units follow-up attack. Okay, okay. So, uh. She seems she seems quite player face oriented just from looking at the look at the weapon and the skill set here. So uh, an innate is this uh, neutralizes effect. Okay, so I I think this this means that she's gonna just compare speed purely <laughs> with the with the enemy. Actually, pretty good because we have. <sighs> We do have a lot of, you know, 
what is it? The armor units have the guaranteed for both fighter, both fighter, ventral fighter, and some new fighters. But I think those are both fighter, ventral fighter, the ones that actually withstand time for a long time. So those are the ones I uh, jump to my mind uh, f first and foremost. So that be, would be good there. And I think we have some recent units that have guaranteed follow-ups and nullify follow-up kind of thing. So she'll, she'll actually just kind of uh, nullify all that and compare purely on speed, which life and death for definitely hope. <laughs> minus five, minus five, five to defenses, but seems like uh, probably not designed for defend, defending anyways. Attack rest, Ruse 3, okay, so this is not this is like a different variation of Ruse skill. So, not bad, and she comes with a dual rally. Mm, dual rally is, is high value though, I still want a few. Still want a few more of those for my own arena team. Well, she's got, well, I forgot to see the artist, but she's got a good art. This and the uh, good, uh, good chibi sprite. By it is my pride Obsidian Dusa. Last Cavalier. Mm. <laughs> he looks like the Jagan type, but I might be wrong. Uh, I haven't played Sacred Stones, but this seems like a cool game. I like, uh, I like, I really like Eric Erica from the game. <laughs> Obsidian Lance grants death plus three if units not adjacent to an ally inflicts attack death minus six. Wow, that's actually a lot of debuff. And fold during combat and unit makes a guaranteed follow up. Not bad, so I, I predict, or I'm guessing that he'll be high defense, high attack, low speed, low res, and maybe okay HP. <laughs> but this is like a kind of like one of those solo skills, but debuffs the enemy instead. The, the Guaranteed follow-up is actually quite good. I think this is similar to Ephraim, one of Ephraim's weapon. I forget which version of Ephraim. I don't have many versions of Ephraim in this game, but I think it's so something similar. You know, when when you're like alone or when you initiate, I forget. Guaranteed follow-up. Uh, Dev rest solo. Okay, so once again, he wants to be he wants to be be alone, but given that he's a cavalry. Unit should be actually quite at least player phase should be quite easy to set up. Law attack dev premium premium law skill right here. <laughs> Rouse dev res. Uh, well, this is actually a quite quite good set, and I think for some of these units that came out recently, <laughs> I think their default skill set is already quite uh, has has good synergy already. I've still got it. Oh, he be a, he, he looks like he might be actually a decent Lance Cavalry. Which, My name is Natasha. we don't see that I'm often. I'm still a little bit salty about Fergie now temple. than they did to poor Fergie. Uh, I'm trying to get more copies to merge him up. But yeah, like, I don't know. Stat-wise and skill-wise, Fergie is pretty, <laughs> pretty mediocre, I would say. Like, as much as I like him. So here's Natasha. I'm not seeing any exclamation marks, meaning... There's actually old skills absorb. Uh, okay, so she might have high attack. Well, we, we we can probably tell from from looking at the damage here. But uh, absorb, so she, she self heals, self heals. Actually, she wants to take some damage so that he, she can heal. Heavenly light heals everybody, and the HP rest. Mm, okay, cold scar is good um, support. Oh, nothing really stands out. Not sure about her stat life. If she's got, okay, are they gonna do like a high HP female healer archetype? Because it kind of goes pretty well with the healing special, and I don't know. And they're giving her HP rest plus two. <laughs> Probably high rest, low speed. I imagine maybe high attack, low death for sure. They will find out. I haven't checked. Probably the stats are probably out by this point. But I haven't checked. She did double them. Uh, here's our book five world. It's like a steampunk feel. I got this feel to me. I'm not a huge fan of the whole like 
mechy style things. So I'm not. <laughs> I'm ready. Who are you? Uh, at no, the moment, at least, I'm uh, not ready. extremely hyped about moves. what's what's to come. But your mileage may may vary, and you know I might change my mind as you know, story goes along. Link Hyder <laughs> Grand Speed plus three, and it was Kanto. <gasps> no way, they add, they're adding Kanto. They're adding Kanto. <gasps> Yeah, enables Kanto through during Kanto three, during turn one through four. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> during, during turns one through four. Okay, if unit initiates grants plus six to combat, so that's a little. That's kind of like a swift. Oh wait, <laughs> very similar to a swift sparrow, and reduces damage from foe's first attack. Wow, this is quite good. So I think it looks like, looks like she'll have pretty high speed, so that might be the only damage she takes. Kanto 3. Ooh, after an attack, assist, go, or structure destruction, unit can move 3 spaces. Well, that's just like a whole, whole turn for a cavalry unit. <laughs> structure too, I think this is especially true for Aether Raids. All right, uh, how many uh, can uh, seven seven lines? Let's read slowly. <laughs> Unit moves according to movement type. So Kanto three because she is three movement unit. Once per turn, cannot attack or assist. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, just kind of like you can move and retreat. Only highest value applied does not stack. After moving, if a skill that grants another action would be triggered, okay, skill force or dance, dancing, Kanto will trigger again. That's OP! That's OP! Unit space movement has no effect on movement granted. Oh, what? What? Huh? Moves, okay, so, so unit moves according to movement type. But because it's Kanto 3, like had it been on, a, let's say, infantry unit, the infantry unit could still move three spaces when Kanto is active, but ha but like uh, subjective to, subject to like tree slow down and things like that. And can't cross river and stuff. Cannot warp. <laughs> I don't think warp is in this game yet, but I, when are they, when are they gonna add warp? Warp is such like a game changer for for traditional Fire Emblem titles. I've been trying to use Warp for my current three houses run to to end the to end the combat uh, soon sooner. So cannot warp a distance. Cannot warp a distance greater than <laughs> cannot warp a distance greater than three spaces. S Hang on. So if Kanto's active, and let's say you give her Wings of Mercy and B, does that mean okay? That means she can tr trigger Wings of Mercy like in when it's when it's when Kanto's active, but she can't do it when like she moves regularly. All right, I think oh this is <laughs> so. Although the the aesthetics is not what I I don't know what I would. Prefer the most. I think this is quite strong. This is very strong, <laughs> and this is a brand new mechanic. It looks like it's bound to a weapon for now, but you. C I think we can imagine that it's probably gonna be available in some other form very very soon or sometime in the future. <laughs> that is cool. Well, I can't. Well, I'm just. I'm excited to have Kanto on my flyers. I love flying teams. <laughs> So whenever that's gonna be available, I think the whole I think it opens up a whole realm of strategies. Oh, that also means like when you're when you're playing against like a, playing arena and against other PvP teams, it'll be a uh, well. I think AI guy needs probably needs to update <laughs> maybe <laughs> to reflect this. But wow, cool. Uh, Seder Shell at the start of turn one, grand special cooldown count minus three. Uh, that means like sh that means this is gonna be just available inst inst instant available. Boost damage at fifteen. Calculate damage using the lower force. <laughs> Interesting. So some dragon stuff. Some dragon 
a uh, effect dragon like dragon stone effect but also a uh, it's like a blue flame forget it's kind of like a wrath blue f blue flame damage like flat flat damage uh, special triggers cedar shell and also i forgot to <laughs> forgot to see that this is only during turns one to four <laughs> not sure how that does this big like half of aether raid combat time but i don't know how it's decided it's interesting though uh, this is, uh, once again, we're gonna probably gonna start seeing more and more of these specials and skills with just two different things combining together. Lusa is actually this is strong. She's definitely, I think she's definitely made very strong so far. And then Swiss Barrel, good synergy with probably her stats and the weapons you can see. Same with the B. Panix Boga is quite premium father skill once again. Uh, pretty good when it's like rally meta in the arena and just in general. So uh, they definitely made the. Why well, are we gonna get her for free, right? Definitely made it very appealing. <laughs> made her very appealing to summon four. I'm just excited to see how you know how people feel about Kanto overall. No, I actually haven't thought about <laughs> seeing this in game, but I'm, I'm glad they added it. Just hoping to see more cavalry units have uh, access to it, because that's how, how that's how it works, right? The, that's how this movement type works, supposedly. Uh, once again, I really like the music. Oh, but, uh, but but her, but her, like in the in the Mackey suit, she looks goofy, and plus the whole like cannon fire thing. It has, less, it has less medieval feel to it. it a little bit pretty modern. Oh, there she moves. I see. And then she, I don't know, she looks quite different with and without the suit. <laughs> it's kind of it's interesting. Oh, that's a who, who's, who's that with the axe? Actually, I am, I'm actually pretty excited for for just meeting new new, uh, new characters in Book Five. Especially, I think the villain. I don't know what happened to him. He had, he got like possessed or something. But he looks pretty cool. I wanna <laughs> wanna know more where the more 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 about what the story is there. All right. So it looks like a Spark System in effect. Yeah. Once again, she appears. It's a mythic hero, like a Gen 2 mythic, let's say. Gen 2 mythic. She appears on a regular hero's banner. Now, where, how would I spend my warps? Probably not gonna do any mass banding. I've imposed a 15 orb limit on myself until Legendary Claude, or another, or some version of Claude from Three Houses comes out in this game again. So probably still, so that, that will still apply <laughs> to this banner too. Natasha is... I'm just not sure why she is five stars. <laughs> you just look at the skills and weapons. I guess maybe close close guard is is this sought after? Not sure. Uh, Carlos is for, for sure pass. Selena is Selena and um, do so. They look pretty look pretty nice and strong. But, um, but I don't think I quite desperately need either of them. Also, I actually don't know them. Like I don't know any of these characters from their game, so <laughs> that that doesn't doesn't uh, play a part in the incentive for me. And then Regan, Regan, we get one for free, right? <laughs> I keep on. I don't know, I'm gonna double check, but I think so. That might be already good enough, but she is definitely the high, highest priority. Like has the the most value. If you just look at this, so it's kind of skewed. Like you just see one side, we have a Gen two mythic, and and then we have a healer who. <laughs> Alright, don't don't mean to offend any Natasha fan, but uh, I don't see anything that stands out with her kit. But yeah, so I'll I'll see what colors I get in my. Free summoning cycle. And I'll try to go probably red and then over over blue over colorless for me. But yeah, let me know what you all think. It's I what I wanna call out from the Fae channel is that the 
The one thing I like the most is the change of uh, pity rate reset. So I've been pity broken left and right. Pretty sure all of you have had similar experience, right? And then if you're just going for this one unit that you really want and you get pity broken left and right, that's definitely a bitter feeling, a salty feeling. So I'm actually glad that they are softening the damage there, <laughs> meaning it doesn't reset back to however the base percent it actually drops by I think it's they say a two percent in total for both five star focus and five star. But let me know I once again repeat it for the tenth time. I'm gonna revisit the Fae channel and just look at look at the new changes again. But that's definitely very much welcome over here. <laughs> I know I'll be summoning pretty heavily on a legendary banner down the road. Hint, hint, that's when legendary claw comes out. So, <laughs> definitely would appreciate. Uh, actually, it might work differently for yeah for legendary hero banners because everybody you have three focus and you don't have any non focus. Scratch that, scratch that. But it'll, it will come in handy. It will come in handy for future new units. So that's one thing that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> the most I want to call from Faye channel. Other than that, what they show? They show book five. So we we're going to see for ourselves very soon uh, how the story begins there. And then some new events. And then the new winter season. Winter seasonals are coming. I can't quite tell from the silhouette who they are. There's a girl. There's a short girl with twin tails. I'm that kind of looks like Hilda, so I'm actually a little bit. I suspect it might, it could be. There's a possibility that it could be three houses, but but I'm not sure. There probably no. There's like Selena, Selena from from Awakening. That's also twin twin tails and others. So quite can't quite tell, but I think well mid December is come is approaching very fast. So we we'll we'll get more news very very soon. Cool, so I think this is all I can think of about this new banner and the Fae channel for now. But let me know what you think. Are you hyped about Book 5? Uh, who, what do you think will happen in the story? And what do you think about the new, you know, the new mechanic, the new heroes this time? And are your orbs safe? I think my orbs will be safe, but <laughs> feel free to share your thoughts. And with that, I think I'll call it good. Hope to see you all next time for when the next banner trailer comes out. And until then, good luck with your summons.